Yo, what's up, guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. If y'all new here, y'all know what to do, man. Go ahead and subscribe because you're going to come back. Go ahead and watch my videos if you're thinking about being anything in the medical field. I tell you, from the beginning, I tell you that I'm here to help you make not only a good decision for you right now, but a good decision for you in the future. Okay, I don't want you to go in and, and, and the medical field and be like, oh, I don't know this is going to happen. I don't know what they got myself into. I don't know what I did. No, you came to the right spot. I got you. Watch my videos, look through all my videos, and you're gonna get the perfect answer that you need, okay? Because I don't sugarcoat anything. I'm gonna tell you everything straight up. I'm gonna keep it 100 because I don't play. I want you to know what you're getting yourself into, and I wanna honestly give you the best information for you, okay? So, uh, if you're new here again, this is I'm answering questions from my comments on my YouTube channel. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for watching. Keep commenting because I can make great content like this and help others, not just the person that answered the question, but some people that you know might want to say ask the same question out there and didn't have time, or they just don't want to comment because they're shy, or whatever the case may be, I'm here to help you, okay? So in this case, this comes from E. Gonzalez. I don't want to mess up her name. Um, so she's saying that she's Cuban. She's going to come to the U.S. soon. Um, she's thinking about going to Kaiser University. It's a private college. Uh, she wants to get into radiology. And uh, she's a little older, she's 40. She's not old, because I'm 41. She's not old, she's not an old lady or anything like that, but we are older. So the older we get, the more we get like, man, is it too late? Should I go for it? Am I smart enough? Am I young enough? Am I gonna retain our information? Is it a lot of information? What do I do? I'm scared, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, I understand that. I, I, even younger people, everybody has that same anxiety that that's why a lot of people stop themselves from going to school because they're scared of failure. They're scared to go in and not do it. That's the wrong mentality if you really want to do something, okay? I'm not talking to Ms. E. Gonzalez. I'm just saying in general, guys, that's the wrong mentality. It's good to get research into, you know, but go in there positive. Just be like, you know what? I know what I'm getting myself into. I know this isn't going to be easy, but I'm going to do it. And you have that mindset, that mentality, and I'm telling you, everything just works itself out. Trust me. Okay, so... Now, for one thing, no, you're not old. You're not too old to go back to school. It's never too old to learn, never too late to go back. Us, we still learn every single day. So no, it's not too late, okay? Now, this is what I would tell you, okay? Because she asked, what's the most difficult class and what should I be studying more when I start the program? Listen, Kaiser University is a private college, right? And I'm not talking bad about any private college. I'm just saying Kaiser University is going to accept anybody, okay? And the problem with that sometimes is that not everybody's ready to jump straight into the program like that because of the fact that a lot of people like, you know, this young lady here haven't been to school in so long that they don't they don't know how to study yet. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to study, they don't know how to mentally prepare. That's why I always tell people go to community college, do two or three classes of your prereqs first, get um, get in a rhythm of learning how to go to school again, get in a rhythm of learning how to study, get in a rhythm of being in a rhythm of going to school, make that, um, uh, what is that? What is that word looking for? Make that a part of your day, make that, you know, your routine, you know, because when you go straight into a program like Kaiser, Kaiser is a great school, but it's very accelerated. And what I mean by that is that what a traditional college, like if you're from Florida, you got a uh, Palm Beach State College, FSW, um, and those classes are two year programs, right? So basically one class will take like two and a half months to finish and then two and a half months or whatever, and they get a summer break. So they have a little time to learn the material. When you go to Kaiser, Kaiser is an accelerated program. So every class is one month. So one month you take a class and you're like, oh, I got to retain all this. Another month you take another class, another month you take another class and you're like, wait, wait, hold. A lot of people can't handle that pressure. Now, I'm not trying to scare you and I'm trying to say not to go to Kaiser because that's not my intention. I want you to get educated. I want you to go to school. But just understand that the radiology, the radiology program is already a hard program. It's not easy. It's doable because I did it. I ain't the smartest guy ever. You know what I'm saying? I got C's through my whole college, high school, everything. C's get degrees. I can never be an A student. I'm just not that type of student. 
but I but I I was determined I got it done. So trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Okay? But radiology is not an easy program. There's a lot of studying, a lot of um, time away from your family that you have to do. If you're trying to work a full-time job, it's not gonna work out. You can't come to, to Kaiser University or even any program, even if it's FSW or Palm Beach State College, get into uh, any kind of medical program, nursing, radiology, dental hygienist, things like that. You can't go for those two-year programs and expect to have a full-time job, pay bills, and, and try to study because it will not happen. As bad as it sounds, you will fail out. And that's what happens. A lot of people try to take too much on their plate. They'll be like, oh, I can go to school for two hours. Oh, I can study for two hours. Oh, I got family. Oh, I got kids. Oh, I can go to work. Oh, I can study at work. If it happens to you in that perfect scenario, hey, man, God has blessed you and you are one of the chosen ones. Or if you don't have to work, boom, that's even better. But trust me, guys, if you try to juggle everything at once, it's not going to work. I'm sorry. I just had to keep it 100 with you because it's not easy like that, okay? So to answer your question, Ms. E, no, it's not too late. No, um, you know, don't study ahead of time. Yes, Kaiser is a tough program program because it's a fast-paced program. But if you're dedicated, motivated, and determined, you got to be determined to finish the program. If you got that in your heart and you're going to just give it your all, you can do it, okay? Now, I hope that I answered your question. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. And I appreciate all of you guys. And you already know, I'll be back.